Hi, I'm Paul Gazzillo, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the K-Localizer tool. K-Localizer's ultimate goal is to find valid Linux configuration files that build a given piece of source code, and to do this automatically and quickly. We call this process configuration localization. Its purpose is to assist Linux maintainers who need to test patches and bug reports provided by contributors because finding the right configuration by hand is no small feat. Now the current prototype is only partially complete. Right now it localizes entire C source files, but we're working on taking entire patches as well. Let's say we're using the default configuration of the Linux kernel, which is just called def config. And we want to build and test this allow to storage driver. As we'll see, the build will fail. And the build fails because this particular piece of source code is not actually included in the default configuration of the Linux kernel. With klocalizer, we can give it the name of the source file that we want to get a configuration file for. And what it does is it statically determines what configuration constraints are involved in building this source code. And then it uses an SMT solver to find satisfying solutions to those constraints. We can see here that klocalizer tells us that the constraints are satisfiable, that it found. And then it takes a satisfying solution to this formula and outputs the solution in the Linux configuration file format. So at this point, we can install our generated configuration file using old def config. Uh, that will set any default values as well that aren't user controlled. And now when we go to try to build our allowed uh, compilation unit, the build should succeed. And here we see that this allowed uh, storage driver is now built. Now, klocalizer took around 10 to 15 seconds to generate this configuration file, which is pretty fast. Um, but actually, when klocalizer first runs, it converts and mass uh, the set of configuration specifications for the kconfig system. Uh, and this can take around three to five minutes for uh, one architecture that Linux supports. Um, and with 20 some architectures, this could be over an hour for all of them. The good news is that this only needs to happen once for again, a given Linux version. And we're working on an on-demand approach to lessen the startup cost. Something else to point out here is that Linux has a built-in configuration called all yes config, which tries to build in all functionality at once. And it actually includes this allowed uh, storage driver. If we try compiling the allowed a storage driver after using all yes config, we'll see that it gets built. But all yes config is not enough for several reasons. For one, it yields a very large kernel that takes a long time to compile, which is less desirable for, for testing. But more importantly, not all source code is actually compiled by all yes config. So for instance, if I try to build this squashfs decompressor multi, which is a mutually exclusive choice for the squash file system, we'll see that it doesn't get built by even the all yes config, and we'll get a build error. Because klocalizer is looking at the constraints that control a given source file, it is able to generate a configuration that will build this compilation unit. And now when we try to compile this compilation unit, we will we see that we'll be able to build this compilation unit. And here we see the compilation unit being compiled.